riding a motorbike is a real experience. And with a great motorbike, it's a great experience. However, a powerful engine also requires a lot of skill and handling ability. Things that many people don't even have when they get their driving license. The purpose of this film is to give new motorcyclists an appreciation of practical situations, in addition to what they learn at driving school. This way, we hope they can begin with good experiences without having to go through the bad. As a pilot inspects his machine before takeoff, we must do the same. Oil, fuel, and the tires. A thread of three millimeters is the minimum, even if road traffic authorities are more generous. And the tire pressure must be corrected at a service station if necessary. Never go out for a ride without a helmet and without gloves, not even to buy something around the corner. Bright color leather suits are not only modern and practical, they're also clearly visible for all other people on the road. Always take a set of rain clothes and be prepared. Are the direction indicators, stop light and headlights okay? Don't forget to leave the dip light on from the beginning. Check the brakes after having driven a few yards. Everything okay? Riding a motorbike requires fitness, physically and mentally. Don't forget to put the choke back in again. Keep your eyes wide open. Don't forget the major road ahead. Be aware. Did he really see us? Keep two fingers on the brake. Careful, rails. Always cross over rails at an obtuse angle. And be careful when driving zigzag along rails. Watch everything going on around you, in front, behind, and at the side. It's all right to go between the cars if there's enough room and if the cars are not moving. Use the whole lane. You have the same right to it as the man driving a car. But of course, we don't have to demonstrate our superiority, particularly when sports car drivers try to challenge us and pull off when the lights are still yellow. In town, drive in the highest practical gear. This will keep the engine quiet. Motorways are too monotonous for many motorbike riders. But we need motorways to cover long distances fast. Keep to the near side when riding at high speed. When overtaking, look in the rear view mirror, press the direction indicator, and move over to the other lane. Never try to overtake anybody who's overtaking another vehicle himself. Oh dear, a traffic jam. Still, what we will not do is drive through the middle between the two columns. That's dangerous and forbidden. It's better to stick to the left. Here you can see whether the car in front of you has noticed you or not. As soon as we're out on the road again, we must look at the speedometer. In the beginning, the speed limit we have to stick to will appear very slow. And the boys with radar control cars know that too. Motorways are a real pleasure for motorbike enthusiasts. But a lot of concentration is needed. For instance, you always have to keep a close eye on the surface of the road. There are not always signs indicating that there's a bit of bad road ahead. Wet leaves, soft tar, and cattle may suddenly and unexpectedly change road conditions. However, the surface of the road is not the only thing we should keep an eye on. The tops of the trees, for example, show the way the road goes. There are surprises everywhere. Careful, he's got his reversing lights on. But now he's noticed us. This is one of our biggest problems. Due to the narrow silhouette of our motorcycle, people tend to overlook us. And they forget the speed at which we're going. A hump in the road. 
What's behind it? A road junction? And a tractor. Will he stop? How fast is the motorbike going? Motorbike riders not only enjoy the trip, they also enjoy the beauty of nature around them. The most beautiful thing when riding a bike is going round bends. But it's also the most difficult thing. Slow down a bit or change to a lower gear in front of the bend. Accelerate a little and change up again when you reach the middle of the bend. A rider who goes round bends properly and smoothly will not have to use the brakes. And if the brakes have to be used in a bend, the rider must have made a mistake at the beginning of the approach. The most important thing when driving round bends is to approach the bend the right way. When going round a left-hand bend, start at the right-hand side of the road, and then pull your motorbike over to the middle when you're halfway through the bend. When going round a right-hand bend, keep an eye on the mirror, move over a bit closer to the middle of the road, and come out of the bend close to the right-hand side. So let's go over that again slowly. Approach left-hand bends from the right-hand side and move over to the middle of the lane when you've gone halfway round. Approach right-hand bends more from the middle of the lane and move over to the right when you've reached the apex of the bend. Without braking, without trying any tricks. There are three different ways of going round a bend. Pressing down the bike, which doesn't help much, trying to copy the racing style, and doing it the normal, elegant way. Oh yes, there's also the daredevil approach, but this will make even the deer run away. There's no doubt that the normal style is the most attractive. Man and machine in harmony. We must emphasize that other road users often tend to overlook motorcyclists. And they don't do so on purpose. When light conditions are bad, even bright clothing and dipped headlights don't help much. Never rely on other people doing the right thing. Look ahead and think ahead. There. Keep your hand on those brakes. Above all, the front brake. But don't forget to use the rear brake too. But don't be jumpy about it, or the rear wheel might go haywire. Look at him, turning into another road without using his direction indicator. Roadhog. Once you feel you've become more experienced, you may also become more careless. Never rocket round a right-hand curve if you don't know where it will take you to. After all, you never know what to expect. like to have a girlfriend with you on your motorbike, make sure she has the same safety equipment as you have. Your pillion rider does not have to lean over in curves like you do. And she doesn't have to lean in the other direction either. When going round, look over the rider's right shoulder. And when going round left-hand bends, over his left shoulder. Always make the ride smooth and elegant. Even more so when somebody's sitting behind you. After all, you can't let a person's confidence down like that. Stand on the footrests when going over humps, holes, or railway crossings. Right, you two. Goodbye. Well, I'm sure you enjoyed that. Motorcycles are better whenever there's a lot of traffic. The acceleration we have gives us an advantage even over sports cars. But what we must do is to learn to judge distances and the speed at which we and others are traveling. You can practice this without having to apply the brakes. Don't forget that slamming down the brakes and tearing open the throttle will not make you fast. It will just make the ride expensive. Try riding without using the brakes. Just open up and let go the throttle. Consistency will give you a smooth and pleasant ride. After all, why should we run risks? Should we overtake in a bend when we can't see what's on the other side? Never. In fact, you should not even overtake another vehicle in right-hand bends when you can see the other end. 
because in that position, you can't stick to the ideal line. In left-hand bends, you can see around, you should also forget about overtaking. After all, that motorist might cut across over the middle. And be careful in zigzag bends. The road may seem to be quite empty, but it might not be. In this case, move over to the right to see whether there's anything in front. Or if possible, look through the windows of the car ahead. Everything okay behind us too. Right, let's go. But keep an eye on the front wheel, as it's here you'll see if your bike wants to change the direction it's running in. Never forget to expect even the worst. For example, it might start raining. So take out your oversuit, make sure that everything is packed away properly, and on we go. The first hour of rain is the most dangerous, because that's when the roads are particularly slippery. What you have to do now is accelerate and brake carefully, and with feeling. Keep further away from the car in front of you, and don't forget one thing, slow down. This is when the joints between concrete slabs, marks on the road, rails, manhole covers, and basalt road surfaces are particularly slippery. And before you know what's happened, the rain is gone. Hi! Riding in a group can really be fun. All you have to do is to know a few basic rules. First, make sure that your machines all have about the same horsepower. The riders should also have equal skill. And don't forget that four or five are quite enough. The next thing is to appoint a leader. The others should always keep a safe distance. And everybody is responsible for himself. For example, if the first two are able to overtake a car, this need not necessarily apply to the next riders in the line. Never run a risk. Wait and overtake when the next opportunity arises. If everybody keeps an eye on the rider behind, nobody can get lost. All clear? Well, friends, have a good time and see you soon. ultimate pleasure is riding round curves and bends, as here in the beautiful Dolomites. In right-hand bends, you can move to the outside a bit before entering the bend, so that then the middle of the lane is free when you're halfway round. Try to ride as smoothly as possible around left-hand bends. If you have a four-stroke engine, you need not apply the brakes when going downhill. All you have to do is shift to a lower gear. we've reached the top. The top of sheer riding pleasure. What a beautiful motorbike day. 